Hey guys, so today we are in Audi S6 C7 in 2012 and we have this ACC, this is um, Adaptive uh, Cruise Control and Audi Brake Guard, uh, brake guard um, Errors over here. We have this red indicator over here which means that the cruise control, the Adaptive Cruise Control is not working. So my first uh, thought was maybe one of the radar is misaligned, maybe something happened uh, and well those radars are mounted on the bumper which is plastic and it might just uh, be with a little bit wobbly and the radar might be misaligned so that's the that might be the issue so I've uh, took OBD11 and I've scanned the car well OBD11 is here is it's disconnected right now I've scanned the car and well I was surprised to see that I cannot connect with the radars neither the left or the right one and control unit 13 and control unit uh, which was it 8 something 8b both were unavailable so I was not able to connect with them well, well since I cannot connect with the radars both left and right and all the other modules are okay maybe it's the fuse so I have took uh, I took this and found that fuse number seven in the left uh, fuse holder in the in this section on the right side. Let me show you over here. And fuse number seven is one, two, three, empty, four, five, six, seven. This ten amp, this red one. This is uh, fuse number seven. Well, this fuse is okay, so it starts to be starts to be interesting so i thought maybe there's some kind of wiring issue and i should check power so i've removed those uh, two covers over here left one and the right one you just need to grab it over here and pull it and disconnected those connectors yeah and we have uh, four wires on this one, this is the slave one, and we have uh, six wires on the other side, on the driver's side. And those two bright ones, pink and green, are CAN bus connection, brown is ground, and this black with red stripe is um, uh, positive, it's 12 volts. So I've measured the power consumption, the power uh, voltage, sorry, power voltage over here and over here as well you can see that we have a little bit more wires because we have two CAN bus pairs over here one is going to the slave unit this is the master unit and the other pair is going inside the vehicle to rest of the CAN bus so i've measured the voltage over here and it was uh, okay 12 volts so the unit should be powered on but since there's no communication with it well the issue must be with the CAN bus connection and well actually i was a little bit afraid that there's something wrong with the canvas wiring over here but when inspecting uh, the connection closely i could see some moisture over here on the connector which well if it shorted something well the fuse should blow up yeah but the fuse was okay power was still here but if you look really careful over here you can see that one of the pins has this little white residue. Can you see it? The bottom row, second from the left side. And I believe the moisture just caused the corrosion over here, which led to a communication error. And well, I have contact cleaner over here. I will try to clean it. I've used compressed air to um, uh, make sure that everything is dry over here and I will leave it like this for a couple more minutes just to uh, make sure that all the moisture is uh, removed and uh, huh, well let's just hope that after connecting this back to the vehicle this will work again so give me a few minutes and we will check so now it's connected on both sides ignition is on we can still see we can still see that there's a fault over here but right now 
in OBD 11 I can see the module 13 and module 8E 8B I'm sorry also here with some uh, some stored fault codes what's well, here's a lot of function limitation due to missing message or received error code okay so let's do it like this right now let's go here let's um, perform a full scan on the vehicle this will read all the faults from the vehicle and believe me there will be a lot of faults because uh, cruise control radars are um, required for some of the features in this vehicle not only the cruise control and the emergency brake assist but also um, sign recognition i believe it works parallel with the camera and uh, well it's um, it can be said how the cruise control works from the drive select so there's a lot of uh, stuff that needs the information from the radar or need to send the information to the radar this is why we will get, we'll have a lot of faults in all of the vehicle and uh, after the scan is complete which right now is going i'm going to reset all the fault codes and hope hope that the message and the red indicator over here will disappear and after ta that I can take the vehicle for a ride. Also, while we are waiting, you can press the thumbs up and subscribe for my um, other videos. You can check if this connector is okay because over here you can see that the lock is broken so it will not um, uh, it might not be as sealed as it should be. Yeah, that's the reason the moisture uh, got inside over here, most likely. So, in the long run, we should replace this connector with a fresh one, with proper locks that will keep this uh, sealed. Okay, let's check how the scan is going. How far are we? Module 32 out of 46. So let's give it a, f a minute or two. 71 faults found. Clear. And right now OBD11 is going through each and every module in the vehicle and it's clearing the fault codes. So let's give it a few seconds and after that I'm going to cycle the ignition and uh, check if we are good to go. Ignition off, disconnect. Ignition on. Red indicator is gone. Warning, warning, mine is working, no warning. Low fuel, but no ACC and brake assist faults right now okay so let's let's reconnect with the vehicle and once again i'm going to perform a full scan just to see which of those faults are still here and which uh, are gone and as i said test drive that's it for today thank you for watching and see you soon